Everyone is freaking out over the fact that the UFC is dead set on having John Jones and Stipe Miocic fight each other. And I've seen people like MMA Joey called the fight a disgrace. And there's all types of people frustrated by this whole situation, including Tom Aspinall. Uh, we'll talk about his tweets in just one second here. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about what I think the UFC can do to fix this whole situation and make pretty much everyone happy in this scenario. Uh, my name is James Lynch. Let's get into Aspinall's tweets here. Obviously very frustrated. He does not have a fight book. Uh, he says, last time Stipe fought and won, GTA San Andreas has come out on the PS2. Great game, by the way. He will fight next for the undisputed heavyweight title ahead of me, who is the interim champ, active, ranked number one in the world right now. This makes me quite upset. Stipe is one of my favorites. Loads of respect to him. Resume is far superior to mine. That being said, the UFC has never been about this. It's about who's the best right now. And I believe uh, that's me. And I'm the only, it's only right that I get to prove it. And he says, surely if you're interim champ, your next fight should be for the undisputed. I sympathize with Aspinall here. I would like to see him fight. I would like to see him keep active when he's healthy. Um, but I also understand that Stipe and John Jones for years have wanted to fight each other. I mean, people forget this is a fight that has been in the works for, for a long time. Like before Jones took his layoff, this was a fight that Jones was talking about while he was an active 205 pound champion. So I understand it from that perspective. And if you watch this channel, you know that I've said this very uh, much, uh, very frequently, I should say on this channel is that I don't think John and Stipe are going to fight after they fight each other. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Like, and I understand it. Because again, these two have wanted to fight each other for years. John Jones is considered one of the best fighters of all time. Uh, he has an incredible resume, and he just wants to finish that resume fighting arguably the best heavyweight champion the UFC has ever had, maybe the best heavyweight in all of MMA in Stipe Miocic. So that's what Jones is looking at. And for Stipe, on his side, who would you rather fight? Think about this from a business perspective. Who would you rather fight? Would you rather fight Tom Aspinall? And it's nothing against Aspinall. He's a great fighter. But what has Aspinall proved? Not a whole lot. His biggest achievement was what he did in November, and that's winning the interim heavyweight title. Outside of that, he's not a household name. He's not a big name in the division. I can understand Stipe saying, look, if I had the choice between fighting a legend in John Jones or someone who potentially could be a legend in Tom Aspinall, I'm taking the name that everybody knows, and that is John Jones. So I understand it from both perspectives, and this is something I've talked about on pretty much all of my live chats, and I don't know why people still think that it's a possibility that Jones or Stipe will fight Tom Aspinall or that John Jones is going to be fighting beyond his next fight I just don't see that happening maybe I'm wrong maybe people can come back and tell me that I was wrong about this but I really don't think John Jones and Stipe are going to be fighting again uh, after this so so that kind of makes sense the other thing I think I got to point out too and I mean listen I do sympathize with Aspinall he just fought in November we're talking January 5th today okay we got some time here so Aspinall getting a little bit upset about everything it's like man you just fought it's not like you've been on the shelf for a year I think he's trying to prevent that from happening but still I, I you know again Aspinall just fought so it's, it's, it's not a huge deal so I think the biggest issue and again you know like, like I said I know I know people like Joey and other people are like you know Stipe and Jones is an absolute disgrace and I understand people sort of feeling that way because realistically I mean if you're looking at the odds on this fight Jones is a huge favorite Jones will most likely win I understand people having a problem with that because it's not even like a real like high caliber fight at this point. But here's the biggest issue with this fight. And I think this would change people's minds a lot differently about this actual matchup. What if there was no title on the line? What if John Jones and Stipe just had like a fun fight? You know, like this is their like, let's put this with, with these optics here. Let, let's put it that let, let's build this fight as John Jones and Stipe are going to retire after they fight each other. There's no title on the line. To me, that's the solution here. If they were to not have the title involved, if they just said, look, John, we appreciate you winning the title over Cyril Gaon when Francis was out. Let's just, uh, you know, strip you of the title. We'll just do this as a fun fight to cap off your career. I think everyone's fine with that. I don't know why the UFC and even some fans are so fixated on fights having to have a title involved. I think you could just do this as just like a one-off fight. Stipe and Jones. I'd watch that. I'm actually intrigued. I think a lot of people are writing Stipe Miocic off a lot uh, just because of his age. But if you look at what he's done outside of the Francis fight, the Francis rematch was not a good performance. It was probably one of Stipe's worst performances in the octagon. Last time I checked, he had a nice win streak uh, you know, prior to that, he had back-to-back -back wins over Cormier. And let's also not forget the narrative going into those Cormier fights. I mean, Cormier does work for the UFC. At the time, he had a show with Ariel Hawani on ESPN. 
Everyone was super biased towards Cormier going into those fights. Stipe was totally counted out, and he proved the doubters wrong. He finishes Cormier in the rematch. He gets a unanimous decision in their third fight. And then, remember, he beat Francis in a fight where in the first Francis fight, everyone was like, Francis is going to knock Stipe out. So I kind of sympathize with Stipe a little bit because this is a guy that I think has been treated fairly poorly by the UFC and by the fans in terms of what they think of him. And Stipe's done his job. I mean, he defied a lot of odds and won the heavyweight title and has been very successful at that. So I can understand him having a bit of leverage here and saying, look, I don't want to fight Tom Aspinall. But if that's the case and he doesn't want to fight Aspinall and he wants to fight Jones, just make this a non-title fight. Because here's the thing. If Jones and Stipe do end up fighting for the heavyweight title, no fan is going to take this seriously in terms of like that is an actual either title defense for John Jones or Stipe winning back the title. No one's going to take that seriously because everyone knows out there that Tom Aspinall is the best heavyweight right now that's been active. So if you're not fighting Aspinall, as far as I'm concerned, this isn't even for a real belt. And I said this when Aspinall won the title. As far as I'm concerned, Aspinall is the real champion because Stipe Miocic had an opportunity to fight Aspinall at 295 and he decided not to. Again, I understand why Stipe does not want to fight Aspinall from a business perspective and just a longevity perspective because, look, he's, he's done enough in the UFC where I don't think he should have to fight a Tom Aspinall. But if that's the case, don't put the belt on the line. That, that That's kind of what I feel. So here, here's what I would do. Again, just to reiterate, you do Jones and Stipe when they're going to fight whenever they're ready do it at a time where it doesn't matter this is a fight honestly i think could headline a pay-per-view even if it doesn't have a title i'm totally fine with that i know people are going to be like what are you talking about john jones is a big enough star that he could literally have a fight without a title and no one's really going to care that much i really feel that way so that's the first thing just make this a non-title fight everyone's happy no one's complaining no one's calling this fight a disgrace it's whatever right because i am a bit intrigued to see how stipe looks uh after the time off Maybe he'll surprise us. I don't know. I mean, you know, most likely Jones is going to win, but at the same time, I'm curious to see how Stipe looks because we're really basing everything off that Francis performance, and I think Stipe is much better than that. And if Stipe looks a little bit better than, than what we saw, it's going to get interesting. Not to mention, what have we really seen of Jones at heavyweight? We saw him, what, fight a minute against Cyril Gaon? Not even. Uh, a, a couple minutes against Cyril Gaon. Like, we haven't seen much of Jones at heavyweight either, so... That's where I'm a bit intrigued. I mean, it's Jones is not, I don't think Jones is just going to run right through Stipe like he did against Cyril Gaon. Stipe Miocic, despite his age and inactivity, is a guy that, you know, is, uh, has, has the accolades. I mean, l look at the amount of title defenses he's had in the weight class. It's very impressive. So I think that fight's a little bit closer than people think. And I do want to see this fight. Now, getting back to Aspinall, here's what you do with him. You make him the undisputed champion. I don't have an issue with that. Look, if Jones and Cipe are out and they're not, the contenders are not going to step up to fight, to me, they should just make Aspinall the real champ. Then what you do here is you get him to defend his title. And the UFC is honestly going to need this. Looking at the schedule right now, looking at UFC 300, looking at some of these cards that are coming up, they're going to need Tom Aspinall to fight, honestly, because... They just, they're running out of options as far as big name fighters to put on some of these cards that are coming up here. So I think this would be a benefit to the UFC. You could do him and Cyril gone. I know a lot of people have an issue with, oh my God, Cyril gone getting another opportunity, but who else is available right now in the heavyweight rankings? Like who deserves a title shot? There's no one that really stands out. You've got guys like uh, Almeida and Blades fighting each other. I mean, Blades is coming off a loss anyways. I don't think Almeida with that performance really deserves to get a title shot off that. I mean, there's really no one else available. So to me, you do Aspinall and gone. You put that on UFC 300. That's for the undisputed heavyweight title. Everyone's happy. John Jones and Stipe still get to fight each other. They don't have to fight Aspinall. Uh, I, I think the only people who would be upset in this scenario would be Jones and Stipe because it's not for an actual belt. But who cares? No one's going to take that seriously anyways, especially when there were opportunities for these guys to fight Aspinall anyway. So to me, this sort of solves everything where you could do Jones and Stipe. And, and here's how the UFC sells this, because I know people will be like, well, you need it as a title fight. You need to sell this as, as a big title fight. You sell it as this is their last fight. This is the retirement fight. People alone would tune in for that. You imagine if you had the pay-per-view poster out there and you said, this is John Jones's last fight. People would watch. People would not want to miss John Jones. He is that big of a superstar that people want to see that. So that's where I think you sell this. You sell this as a non-title fight. You do Aspinall and gone and everyone's happy and no one's complaining anymore because that's how I see this thing. I see both sides of it. I see the frustrated Aspinall side where he's like, look, I did everything I'm supposed to do. Why won't Stipe step up and fight me? I see it from Stipe's side where he's like, look, I'm considered one of the best heavyweight fighters of all time. Why should I have to end my career on the highlight reel of Tom Aspinall? Because I think that's probably what would happen. Um, and then I see it from Jones's perspective where he's like, look, I got one fight left. I'm going to fight, uh, you know, who, who I consider the best heavyweight of all time in Stipe. I'm not going to fight this up and comer Aspinall and risk losing because Jones right now could walk away and he'll be considered one of the best ever. It doesn't matter with what he's done. 
But I understand him wanting to get the Stipe fight because, again, and my understanding is this Jones Stipe fight goes as far back as when he beat Cormier in uh, the rematch. Well, I guess it got turned into a no contest, UFC 214. My understanding was that year in 2017, they wanted to do John and Stipe in December, but because John uh, got popped, uh, that ruined everything. And then uh, they ended up going in a different direction with Stipe. So this is how long this fight's been in the works, 2017. So I can understand these two really wanting to fight each other because it's been a fight that's been in the work for so long. So that's kind of what I think uh, with, with that as far as solving the problem in the heavyweight division. You do Jones, Stipe, non-title fight. You do Tom Aspinall, Cyril Gaon, or whoever. Everyone's happy. Everyone's good. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, what do you think of this idea? Do you think that you just promote Aspinall as heavyweight champion? Do you think that you just make Jones and Stipe a non-title fight? What do you think? Happy to discuss this as long as you guys are going to be reasonable here. And again, I do think Jones probably beats Stipe. I know there's going to be people being like, what are you talking about, James? Stipe is not going to even be competitive. I don't know. He had one bad fight against Francis Ngannou, and everyone's kind of saying that he's done. I don't know. I'm curious to see. I, you know me. I don't put too much stock into one particular fight. So despite his age and the layoff, I think Stipe is going to look better than people think. That's just my honest opinion. Follow me on X, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, at Lynch on Sports. I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.